It's Thursday morning. I just commented on my YouTube comments. Yeah, comments are done. And welcome to my vlog. Audio out there made a lot of valid points about the iPad 3 being uh, just another money soak from Apple and you know basically buying a piece of product that you don't truly own because you got to pay for all the Apple apps and you got to run it their way and in a way it's no different than a laptop unless you pirate everything you own. Hey, what? How's that video coming? It's coming. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. Don't worry about it. He's got a video coming. Yeah, I do. So. Yay. That's probably going up tonight. Yeah. As for me, today I gotta go to my mom's house, or my parents' house, I should say, because, uh, like I said yesterday, dad can't get the antivirus to install on mom's computer. Don't know why it's so hard, but he's having a hell of a time doing it, so they want me to go over and do that. That, and mom wants to give me my birthday present, so. Right on. So I'm going to go over there and install the antivirus. A lot of you were saying, why, isn't, why don't they just use Microsoft Security Essentials? That's what I'm running here, and I have to say I like it. I like it a lot. It works great. It does the job, and uh, frig, it's free. I like free, and so far it's caught a couple things, you know. Uh, a lot of crack sites downloading torrents and stuff like that, and, you know, you... You get a crack on even a game uh, game trainer. You know, you want to play some Grand Theft Auto 4, but you're like, Oh, you know, I don't really feel like playing fair today. I kind of want infinite ammo and health and stuff. So you download a trainer and... Bo -do 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 -do, it's a virus keylogger. Freaking kill it. So yeah, it works pretty good. I like it. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to head outside for a cigarette. And then uh, we can freaking go check on the garage and see how bad it is. Because that's always fun to do. All right, let's do this. Well, at least now I have no light coming in. Maybe I should have done what I did a while ago. All I did was step on the friggin' bottom thing and the door completely closed. Oh, so that little thing down there is there for a reason. Oh, I didn't know that. <coughs> when I was browsing on Home Depot last night and looking at some different seals, and um, I found one that's kind of cool. It's an aluminum rubber seal that goes along the bottom of the garage door, basically to make a complete seal to keep the water out. You know, but like Logie said, he's like, well, what the hell are you gonna do when you open the door? All the water's gonna rush in. I said, well, I'm thinking to myself, well, that's the preventative, the, the, the seal. When I open the door and all the water rushes in, it shouldn't because what I wanna do this summer is dig a trench outside the door and fill it with gravel so the water has somewhere else to go and then rest up on the door and its way in here and wreck all my shit. Luckily, I don't think anything got damaged. Oh shit, maybe it did. Freaking grinders sitting right in the puddle. One second, guys. There. I don't think it got damaged. These boxes are made out of some waxy cardboard shit and the box itself feels damp, but it's not like weak or anything. So it should be good, hopefully. Hopefully nothing got damaged. But uh, that's another thing I gotta do this summer is clean up this bench, throw all the shit out that's garbage and you know, just pretty much everything up there and put everything else away and then I want to get my grinder up on my bench. I'd like to get one of those little uh, clamp things, those bench clamps, you know the ones where you bolt them down to the bench, you have the spinny thing, you got like an anvil part on the end for pounding on and stuff. <coughs> I'd like to get one of those too because those are always handy. A vice, that's the word I'm looking for, a friggin vice clamp or whatever. Bench vice? Bench vice. Because, yeah, I could really use one of those. But uh, this is friggin' awesome in here. <laughs> well, I gotta remember that next time I close my door to step on that stupid pedal thing to make sure it's closed completely. Didn't realize that was there. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have my cigarette. Probably give mom a call, see if she's up, see if she's home. See if I can go over and get this done. Then come back here and frig around some more and stuff and junk and, you know, just frig around. Also thinking about doing a tutorial on the new, uh the new uh, layout for YouTube, letting people know how to, uh, well, partners, how to properly do image links on your banner, because last night Logie had a problem with it, and the problem was something that YouTube never mentions that a lot of people don't mention. When you're doing your image maps, you cannot use your whole background. See, for partners before, we had a banner that we, was a separate entity that we'd upload, and YouTube would automatically space our page out so that the banner would fit in the top. Well, now they changed it. Now you're banner is part of your background so there's a section in your edit channels 
which allows you to move your background. So you can move your background image down or up, or like basically you can space out for, for a banner depending on how big you want to make your banner. So if you only want a 50 pixel banner that says, you know, this is my freaking channel, then you get a 50 pixel banner that says, this is my freaking channel, and you tell it, move down 50 pixels, and then you fart, and you're good. But uh, with the old way, it was 150 pixels, and it would just basically set your channel up like that 960 by 150. Yeah it's kind of kind of cocked the way they did it now but it works out well because people who don't want to have huge banners don't need to have huge banners and people who want to go the full 150 pixels freaking have at her you know. So for me like so I noticed that they said they're forcing everybody over on on March 7th yet Arcane Fire and, Fire and Ice has not been forced over yet. I'm gonna do a video on that on how to set it all up and how to image map it and all that and hopefully the information is uh, golden and you guys like it and it helps out with any partners out there who want to image map their banners to have links to like to the Facebooks and to the other YouTube channels that they might have and you know other things but uh, as for me I gotta rock and roll head over to mom's and get this shit done and I'll show you guys the renovations dad's doing apparently mom said the house is flipped right upside down and completely destroyed so should be should be interesting so let's freaking do this alrighty well I called mom and she's just sitting at home waiting for me to show up so Let's go. Hey. So yeah, I'm kind of shocked with the new iPad 3 that they didn't, didn't include Siri. I honestly don't see that much improvement over the iPad 2 versus the iPad 3, except for that quad-core gaming processor, which is a quad-core graphics processor. Other than that, everything's pretty much the same. Well, retina display, whatever. My eyes are too dick to really enjoy it anyway. The girlfriend has the iPad 1, but it's the iPad 1. Uh, with the 3G and Wi-Fi, not just the Wi-Fi. And she likes it, she uses it all the time. I play with it a bit, but you know, not that much. I was personally thinking about getting the iPad too. So I really want an i, I device, but an iPod touch is too small. So I was thinking about getting the iPad. But then again, they're saying the iPad too, it's rear facing camera is like the one that's shooting out the back that does a 720 elemental P videos. It's only a 0.7 megapixel camera. 700 kilopixel camera. So it's basically at the limitations for 720p video. Where the iPad 3 can do 1080p video. But who honestly who that does videos with their iPad? Who's gonna hold their iPad up and shoot a video with it when they're out and about. Like, you look like an idiot holding this friggin' eight and a half by 11 piece of paper up to shoot a freaking video. Sure, you got the biggest view screen in the industry, but you still look like an idiot doing it. Probably, so I can see using the iPod Touch as your video camera, you know, because it's smaller, it's about the size of a pocket camera. It can do the uh, 720p. I can see using your iPhone as your video camera. Because it's small, it's like the size of the iPod, same size as the pocket camera. Doesn't do that bad of a job. Not the greatest job, obviously a camcorder is going to devastate an iPod or an iPad or even an iPhone. But, you know, no multi-purpose device can ever beat a dedicated device. That's the way I see it. The iPhone 4S does do a good job of videos. But honestly, a dedicated video camera with the same settings is going to smoke it in quality. Well, as long as it's not Chinese made, you know, Polaroid lens and shit. Wow, they re need to really redo this road. Winter just cocked that road over big time. Now oh, what can you do? But uh, yeah, I'm going to go fix this computer for mom. It should only take a couple minutes because like seriously, I, I don't understand why there was a complication installing an antivirus. Stuff the disk in, let it install, ask for CD key, type in CD key, and Bob's your uncle. Apparently, that's too complicated for some people, who's probably going to watch this vlog and tell me to F off. Holy shit, can't believe they still have that Sunfire. Oh yeah, Dad works days today. Oh, well, I'm taking his spot. Frig him, he shouldn't be home for a while. Alright, well, I'm here, so uh, let's go see what kind of damages he did in the house. Yeah! Well, there's no more paneling on this wall. Oh, I like the styrofoam insulation. That wasn't paneling? No, it was uh... That was this crap. What do you call that? The, the, the pine board interlock. It's part of here. It's a real pine. Holy shit, eh? Look at this. There used to be a couch and stuff down here. Now it looks like a friggin' dungeon. Oh yeah, all concrete floor. Holy shit, he's got a lot of work ahead of him, boys. A lot of work ahead of him. 
Oh well. Oh, he's going to want to do an inspection over here and find a way he's got mold on the insulation. It's nothing? Okay. Holy shit though, this is insane. This place is going to look like a whole new place. Oh, brand new window. Can I have that? No? Oh, okay. All right on. Oh, well, he's going to be busy for the next couple of years, how I many months? But, uh, frig yeah. Crazy. Tons of work to do. All right, let's go fix this computer. You guys see, my, my parents think of everything right, because they like to sit downstairs and watch TV. So what they've done was, they moved the couch to this side, right? So they got their couch, and when you sit down, you got the big TV, like right in front of you, so you can watch your TV. And if you need a beer, it's right there. Beer! Like, you can still watch TV, grab a beer, not miss anything. It's perfect! Look, they, they got their bell receiver here, they, oh, they don't have the surround sound set up. So, they're not living in complete luxury, they got to use the TV speakers, but... Thought of everything, indeed. Alrighty, mom shit's all fixed. Dad never left me a list. I guess it's time to head her home. Mom did, however, give me some lunch stuffs. That's freaking awesome. Macaroni thing that she concocted. Can't see shit out of my window, so it was like the worst pulling out of the driveway job ever. Yeah, the issue with uh, Kapersky, I thought they needed to reinstall it. I forgot I already installed that new, new, sur uh, new virus engine and everything. The problem was I just needed to put the CD key in and I guess dad couldn't find the actual spot to put the CD key in so that's fine. That only took like 10 seconds and then uh, her laptop uh, kept saying virus engine out of date and because of all the renovations and stuff I think what happened was the virus database was out of date but uh, because dad didn't have the internet plugged in when it wanted to update, it just basically waited for a manual update and went with that. My mom and dad are throwing out a bunch of crap. One of the things they were going to throw out, I couldn't let them throw out because, God, these things are epic. They're aluminum beer steins with a glass bottom. I'll show you when I get home. They are the freaking coolest things you'll ever see. They, I think they were my grandpa's before, and dad didn't know what to do with them, and he was going to throw them out. And I'm like, are you freaking mad? You're not throwing that out. I'm taking that. So sure enough, I got them in the bag. That's that clinging you're hearing right now. They look like they belong in prison, you know, like the old prison gobl goblets. They're going to be awesome for beer. You know, pour a beer in one of those and be like you're drinking in the olden days, drinking grog or something like a pirate or whatever. Friggin' sweet. Yeah, it's getting colder out. Apparently it's supposed to drop down to minus 13, which means when I go to work today, I cannot park in that water or I am not getting my car out tonight. That is for friggin' sure. So I guarantee you all that water at work is going to freeze watch. I'll have no choice but to park there because it'll be completely dicked. Yeah, so let's go down to minus 13 tonight and then this weekend's supposed to be nice, so it should be nice for driving. But the weather's like up and down friggin' more than a hooker's panties on a Saturday night for frig's sakes. Friggin' weather's fluctuating more than the gas prices. Yeah. Well, at least tonight at work I think we're full staffed. You know, as long as the other guy shows up and doesn't call him sick. So that's a bonus. Oh, and I'm not prime, so... That's even better. Don't have to be prime tonight, yeah. No extra privileges. Just gotta show up and do my job. No extra work for me. That's my song. You like it? Available on iTunes. Not really, but sort of. I think the girlfriend's home. I sent her the keynote last night for the uh, Apple uh, friggin' iPad event. Funny thing is, they covered the iPad for like maybe maybe half of the event, not even, and the rest of it was all the new apps, like GarageBand and iMovie and the new uh, iPhoto, which is also available on the iPad too. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you really want the Retina display and the friggin' quad-core gaming processor iPad 3. If you don't give a shit, save yourself the money and buy the iPad 2. And if you really don't give a shit, then frig it, don't buy any. You know? But, uh, yeah, I'm home now. Girlfriend's home for lunch. Oh, and I'm just gonna bounce my car in the driveway. Holy crap! This weather sucks! So I'm gonna head her inside, probably eat what mom gave me. She gave me some this macaroni thing, and probably gonna slam that in my face and carry on with the day. So, frig yeah, let's do this. See what I mean? This is frickin' sweet. She was gonna throw these out. You can't throw these out. It's got a glass bottom on it. Yeah, they're pretty dirty. Need a good scrub, but this would be awesome to drink beer out of. Freaking rights it will be. Yeah, I can't wait. Freaking crack a beer open, pour it in that, and I can pretend like I'm in the old age, the olden days, drinking beer out of a stein. Right on.
Alrighty, well it's like 3 o'clock, I just finished uh, pre-editing the vlog because I find it's easier when I get all the morning stuff all edited up and then if I have time when I'm at work I finish editing up the uh, nighttime stuff and then I just get home and stuff the nighttime stuff and the daytime stuff together and usually have that vlog cracked off pretty damn quick. So, friggin' awesome. But yeah, it's all edited up and ready to rock. But I'm going to rock a piss, take the dog outside for a cigarette. Cigarette. Yeah, outside for a cigarette. Cigarette. Funny. And uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this weather took a turn for the shit. It's freaking snowing out. Not sure if the lens is picking it up. But yeah, it's totally snowing. It was way worse a while ago. So, just dicked. Weather is right cocked. Here's proof. Look at the windshield on my car. <laughs> Covered in snow. Oh well. I went and got my garbage can at the end of the road. Probably gonna head her out soon. So, what are you doing? Oreo. He's interested in the garbage can. He's cocked. Alrighty, well I've gone ahead and stuffed the GoPro on the helmet. And uh, you know what? You don't really feel it up there. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. There's a reason for that. <laughs> You'll see it in an upcoming video. Don't get your hopes up. It has nothing to do with the trike. And uh, it might be in an upcoming video. We're not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. Alrighty, well it's 3.30, it's time for this boy to hit her off to work. I'm uh, not going to bother videotaping the drive or anything because uh, today's vlog is actually already pretty freaking long. And I don't really have anything to say in the car. So, I think I'm just going to friggin' head her off to work, grab my lunch that I made, bloody sandwiches for the win, and uh, we'll just friggin' have at her and go to work. So, let's hammer down. Alrighty, well I'm at work now. Why is it every time I drive to work or drive anywhere and don't film it? cool shit happens. Well, not really cool shit, kind of sucks what happened, but one cool thing was I'm driving down the highway and I get past, well, I didn't get past, I passed a transport that was hauling two of those really big offices, and I had to take the soft shoulder because uh, he was kind of consuming the whole lane, which was pretty friggin' dick, and he was coming into my lane too because those things are wide. And then I'm coming down the other street, and sure enough, stoved. I don't know how it happened, but Buddy must have fell asleep at the wheel and just rear-ended a Ford Faiso. He was driving one of those little Toyota Yaris or Echoes or whatever their gas-sipping car is nowadays. Just friggin' rear-ends the Faiso. I don't have it on tape. Freak sakes. I never get the cool stuff on tape because I never film at the right times. I gotta start filming all the time. I think so. But anyway, I'm at work. I'm gonna head her inside and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace. Well, it's 5.30 break time. I just came out for my cigarette. Not too much to report on. Been a pretty slow night. Very slow night. So I'm thinking for the car show, the camera I might bring with me is my other Panasonic, the bigger one. This one here, I like using it for vlogging because it's smaller, easier to pocket and stuff. But the bigger Panasonic does do a way better job with video. And it's also cooler than Frig. I'm just saying. It's got the huge battery on it too. The big friggin' five hour battery. Where this one here is good for about an hour and 45 minutes. I don't know, maybe I'll take them both. Or just this one. I don't know, we'll see. See how I'm feeling that day. See how saucy I'm feeling. But uh, yeah, it should be, uh, should be interesting. But so far today it's been pretty dead. Mom was saying we're going to get some solar flares or something. Or there's supposed to be a solar storm which might knock out cell phone signal and a bunch of other stuff and internet and I don't know. So far it's been pretty clear up there. Oh, it's too quiet. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was better. Yeah, so far um, internet's working fine as far as our customers go. Everything's good. A lot of people calling in to set up iPads. I wonder why. <laughs> the iPad 3 is not even out. Future Shop already dropped the price on the iPad 2 down to $399 for the uh, Wi Fi only and $499, I think, for the 3G one. That's pretty decent. Everybody's running out and getting iPad 2s and everybody's calling in to set up email and stuff. And I don't even know how to set up the new email on them. I haven't seen that layout in forever. And like I said, the girlfriend has her iPad, but it's still running iOS 4, not 5. And she's worried about updating it to 5 because, well, my iPhone 3GS took a big dump when I updated to iOS 4. That's when it started acting all goofy and being dumb and stuff. So, to avoid uh, getting frigged over, she's staying on the iOS 4.0 and I'm uh, going to rock that out. But tons of people are buying iPad 2s all calling in. Some people didn't realize that in order to use the iPad 2, you need a Wi-Fi router or a wireless signal. They thought you could dock it like their computer, just hook it directly up to the modem, but kind of sort of can't, and we don't offer wireless modems yet. So <laughs> they thought they could just buy the USB adapter and plug it into their modem, but kind of defeats the purpose of buying an iPad if you're going to tether it to a modem and have to stick into a room, right? The whole idea of the iPad is portable surfing and stuff like that. Any hoozle, I'm going to head her back inside, carry on with the night. I'll talk to you guys on lunch if I have something to report on. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay? Cool. Peace. 
Alrighty, well, it's like 10.30 at night, and I'm coming out for my last break. Oh, man. I am feeling rough. Oh, actually, I'm feeling sick to my stomach, if anything. Oh, see how we feel tomorrow. And go from there. So, as far as I know, I'm not getting my review tomorrow. Guess we'll wait until next week. Watch my boss will schedule it for tomorrow for Monday, but he won't tell me. I won't find out until I come in at 4 on Monday, and the same thing will happen again. What can you do, eh? What can you do? Oh, judging by the pain in my stomach. I think I might have to go for a poop or something. I am feeling rough tonight. Really rough. Like I ate bad chicken or something. Like salmonella poisoning rough. Well, it's been a very slow night, which is typical Thursday night. Hopefully Friday's just as slow. And then it's off to that car show thing. I have no idea what to expect. We're arriving there bright and early. Rex says we're probably gonna get bored pretty quick. So, he says we're gonna get bored pretty quick. I'm like questioning why we're even going, but whatever. We'll go check it out. See what the what is. Hopefully it's not a waste of time, and if it is, uh, I'll know for next time not to go. But anywho, we got a full moon out there. Focus. Full moon. Anywho, so on that note, I think I'm going to head her back inside. Probably go sit on the toilet for a bit, and I'll talk to you guys at midnight. Peace. Alrighty guys, well it's friggin' midnight. I would show you, but... Oh, there it is. It's minus four degrees now. Friggin' sucks. Lost our good weather. Picked up some bad weather. Oh well! Well, I'm going to head her home. I'm friggin' tired as frig, so I'm going to go home, edit, upload, and go to bed. So, uh, let's pit her potter and get out her and get her asses home. I'm not going to bother recording the drive. Don't feel like it. Sorry. Yeah. Alrighty, well, guys, I'm home now. And I'm pretty much going to end the vlog here. I got to get to bed. I got to get as much sleep as possible. Because as you all know, Saturday, Rex 4x4 and I are going to that car show in Toronto. But we're leaving here at like 4 a.m. And I'm getting off work at midnight, which means when I come home, edit the vlog, upload the vlog, it's going to be like 2.30 a.m. And if I go to bed from 2.30 till 4 a.m., well, I won't be awake to go and pick him up. So, looks like tomorrow night I'm pulling an all-nighter, boys. It's going to be awesome. So I got to gather as much rest as possible just so I can pull this off tomorrow and, you know, go Saturday and try and be somewhat functional. Good thing he's driving most of the way, because when he's driving back, I think I might just pass out in the car, because frig, why not? So, on that note, if you guys liked today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button, let me know you like the video, and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about today's video, you know where to leave them, comment section below. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.